let's pull it back into the dichotomy of infection versus vaccine. So what if then you're not in that dichotomy, you've been infected with COVID, maybe you had an asymptomatic case, maybe you had an ICU level case, and now they're asking you, well, would you like to get the vaccine? And let's say we'll do it for two groups. Let's do it for kids and adults. How do you think about that in terms of immunity and, and risk benefit? No, it's a good question. I think when, when the vaccine virus, when the virus first came into the United States and started killing people in March, people who are in the vaccine world were looking for one thing and one thing only. Does natural infection protect you against relatively severe disease associated with re-exposure? Um, because then you knew you could make a vaccine. Then you knew all you had to do was mimic the immunity induced by natural infection to protect. And that's not true. There are, we've talked about this before, there are um, instances in the in the world of, of uh of um, microbiology where a natural infection doesn't protect. I mean, you can get group A beta hemolytic strep, strep throat again and again, you can gonorrhea again and again. So, so that's why it's so hard to make vaccines to protect those pathogens. But here it looked like it did protect and it does. You know, I, I, I think that one could reasonably make the argument if you've been naturally infected, I think you very likely are protected against severe critical disease. I mean, the kind of disease that causes you to be hospitalized. I think that's true. I think that, that the reason that, that I think when we launched this vaccine program in the United States, we didn't say everybody who's been naturally infected is probably protected, you don't need a vaccine, it was probably for more bureaucratic reasons than anything else, because now you have to test everybody to see whether or not they've been previously infected. It added another layer to an already complicated program, and so that wasn't done. And, and frankly, in, in, in the scheme of things, if you've been naturally infected and you get a dose of mRNA vaccine, and there's now a few studies that have shown this, you act as if you've gotten your second dose. You know what I'm saying? You get a clear booster response. So I think you probably only need one dose of an mRNA vaccine, but there's no downside. I mean, it's safe and it induces, um, it, it, it boosts your immunity and probably gives you longer lasting. 